in this section we will look shortly on the protocol data unit and its naming conventions once the signals comes out of the rte layer we call it as system signals once the system signals are sometime grouped into some groups to send the signal in single slot so in com modules we have a shadow buffer or shadow modules to group these signals these sig these signals are grouped uh, and it's called as signal grouping there are two type of signals coming out so one is the signal and another one is the signal group in signal group many signals are combined in one group so it can be sent out easily so next is the service data unit when the signal comes out of a RTE to the COM layer here the signals are STU for the COM module and this COM module add one header so the header is called as PCA so the protocol control information along with the STU plus PCA we call it as PDUs once the combined STU and the PCI comes out of the COM module is called as the IPDU or it is called as IPDU or once the signal comes inside the COM module it is called as STU and the header is added in PCI so with the STU so on together we called it as PDU so for ex for an for uh, illustration yes PDU comes from the upper module to the lower module as a serviceable data unit and a header is added so it becomes the PDU so like when it comes from the top layer to the below layer the header is being added and once goes back or goes from the lower layer to the upper layer the header is removed this is the same way as the internet protocol works such as each layer adds a header in every layer in similar manner signal is added with each layer header and sends out to the next layer all the pdu in service layer is called as ipdu and once the protocol data unit moves from the service layer to the ECU abstraction layer these signals are called as NPDUs that means the network PDUs once this network PDU reaches the MCU or the hardware abstraction layer we call it as LPDU low level PDUs so the signals are converted into PDU in service layer next is the NPDU in ECU abstraction layer and LPDU when it reaches the hardware abstraction layer or the MCU layer. These are the three types of protocol data unit available in RTSR methodology. As the signals count of comes out of the RTE is more of messages and first step is to convert the signals into the PDU. The signals comes out of the RTE the first module it encounters is the COM module only about communication stack flow alone. So the data or the messages transmitted out of the RTE and the first layer encounters is again the COM module. The first step of the COM module is take the signals and packs it as IPDU. It means adds the header and converts as IPDU and sent out to the lower layer is PDU router. Similarly, when data is sent out from the PDU router, it will look for destination address and it will route to the particular RTE component and it removes the header. This is the first step of the communication, the COM module. The whole idea is to pack and unpack the signals are IPDUs. It packs the signals to IPDU and it unpacks the IPDU into the signals. This is the main functionality of the COM module. Then the second step 
is when to start and stop the IP news and it will control the whole transmission and retransmission of the IPDU and IPDU groups and the signals. This is also managed by the COM module. This will take care of filtering of the signals. So what means the filtering? So the gateway functionality also we will look it and we'll come back. The gateway functionality means the few signals only transmitted to the IPDU and few signals will not be transmitted and taken care by the gateway functionality and the transmission mode and the mode selection. The first step is signal needs to be converted into IPDU and the IPDU in turn converted into signals. The second is filtering of the signal. For example, there is a lot of messages have to be transmitted from the RTE layer there are few messages need to be transmitted always. Then we have filtering methods. Once we configure always or never, like seven filters are available. Here we can select which is required based on our requirement. There may be use cases, some signals need not to be transmitted. For those signals, we can set the filter option as never. So this filtering message will not be transmitted. It will be filtered in the COM module itself. The COM module actually decided whether to transmit or not to transmit. There are seven to eight filters available to configure in the AutoSAR COM module. Based upon how you want to transmit the signals, the next important thing is a gateway functionality. The use case like, let us assume, this particular ECU actually is in one cluster and protocol conversion to be done. So this COM module is responsible for conversion of the data which enters the COM. When the signal enters the COM module as the CAN signal and there is a chance it may be transmitted to other protocol. This is just like mapping of signal to the other protocol. Another example is COM module act as an interprocessor. For example, a display unit is available next to the ECU. It will pick the data from the CAN bus and will, it will show the resp uh, like for example, we'll take an example of uh, engine speed so that need to be displayed in the display so yeah, the com module take the data from the can bus and it will display it in the display with the help of the spa interface so this kind of conversion can be done in the com module transmission mode and the transmission selection the main importance of the COM module. The configuration of the COM module is most important use case. Let us have a use case. You want to transmit one message for, for every one millisecond and on the reception of the particular event, this message have to be transmitted to every 20 millisecond. This kind of mode selection is possible in COM module. When condition is true, the signals can be transmitted every one millisecond. When the condition is false, the CAN signals can be transmitted every 100 millisecond. This is transmission mode and the transmission mode selection. This is the most, most important functionality and the aspect of the COM module. To summarize, the COM module converts the signals into PDU and it controls the start and stop and it also can do the filtering when to transmit and when not to transmit and the conversion of the one protocol to another and the messages from one cluster can be transmitted to the another cluster so a lot of this are like uh, functionality of COM module so there is most of the time spent in Autosar configuration for the COM module. This really required 
for the effective communication to happen.